Okay, equilibrium problem. In reality, the big problem with equilibrium is not the actual equilibrium state, it's the moles. It's a stoichiometry type question. The key is to understand what the equation means. The equation is saying here that two moles of this component produces one mole of this component and two moles of this component. Although in reality, we're probably only interested in these first two components. In this case, I don't know. Now, this means that however many moles of this react, will produce half as many moles of this. And by converse argument, however many moles of this are produced, twice as many moles of this must have reacted. And this is the key to it. So if we're told there's a one mole sample of this left-hand component, doesn't matter what volume it's in at the moment, that can be that's used for working out the equilibrium quantum. When equi equilibrium is reached, the mixture contains 0 0.02 moles of this. Hang on, of the very first component. Okay, well that means how much has reacted? Well you can see that moles moles of this reacted moles of that reacted well it must be the difference. You start off with one and we end up with zero, zero, zero point two oh. well clearly how much, is, how much has been used up? 1.00 minus 0 0.20 is 0 0.0.80 0 .0 has been as reacted. Okay, now from the from the equation, from the equation, two moles of this make one mole of the product. So we always the the moles of I'm going to put this reacting moles of that reacting reacting makes exactly half half the moles of and we'll put in this as our product well you know how much moles have reacted hence hence moles of uh, Tetrafluoroethene equals 0 0.80 over 2 equals 0 0.40 moles. Now, by the same argument from the equation, exactly the same number of moles of the, the reactant and hydrochloric acid. Well, so moles of HCl produced equals moles of um, this reacted equals 0 0.80 and that's it. Now if you want to go on to work out the equilibrium constant well you just basically you have the moles of all the components you divide all of those by the volume to get it into get them into concentrations and then put them into the equilibrium constant equation that's it